Greetings, pod fans! When getting a dog, one needs to be prepared for a lot of things. The scariest of which is, of course, socializing. Which is scary for a lot of reasons. The scariest by far is, of course, people. And these people have questions. And make small talk. And call your dog cute. Alright, this is kind of starting to annoy me, so let's continue without the slam noise, red text on black background. Sorry. But yes, one of the side effects of getting a dog that I completely overlooked was the speaking to strangers. Part. It's going from my usual hour plus long walks where I have my headphones on and I have zero human interaction unless I go into a shop to stopping every five minutes so that he can greet other dogs, people stopping me in the streets just to ask questions about him, and the men who stop me to ask questions about hunting? has been such a huge change uh, that I just didn't expect. I really should have, but, you know, I thought that maybe he could do the talking. It, it, yeah. A couple of days ago, I was sitting outside of Starbucks with him and a an employee came outside to offer him a puppuccino and say hi to him because she saw him through the window and really liked his ears. About five minutes after she had gone inside, another employee came out to say hello to the good boy and give him rubs. Before that point, the most interaction I've had at a coffee shop was when I went there so often that they just knew my order when I came in, and I stopped going there for a few weeks because it freaked me out. Don't get me wrong, this is not a bad thing. He needs the socialization because he needs to get used to people, and I need the socialization because I need to get used to people. As a matter of fact, I spent a few weeks working with my therapist trying to build up like the confidence and the ability to just have a conversation with a stranger just to stop someone and like figure out like some situation where I could have a conversation with a stranger and I failed. I couldn't push myself to do it. And then he came along and within, you know, a couple of weeks, I have so many under my belt. It's wild. And I don't see it stopping anytime soon. He's a Springer Spaniel, so the hunting questions will probably plague me for the rest of my life. And he is as cute as an extremely cute button. So yeah, people are just gonna stop and be like, can I pet your dog? He's adorable. And I'd be like, I agree, sure. In other Ace related news, um, he is doing really well and he's growing. When he got his vaccinations a couple of weeks ago, he was around eight kg and he has done a lot of growing even since then. It is bulking season. And that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, my aim for 2022 is to do at least one video every month. Um, like, previous video, like, a couple of days ago on the first, um, was, was I, I guess that counts as well. So that's two for January. We did it. We are above expectations. However, for the rest of the year, keep your head up high and your hopes down low for me completing this. <sighs> I'll talk to you soon. Sloan.